the way from the last day of this legislative session and lawmakers have introduced nearly 8,000 bills. The first one just became law. KXAN's Anna Wernicke looks at how many other bills will actually make it to the governor's desk. <laughs> and now we have a signed piece of legislation. The first bill of the session has officially cleared all hurdles. Any anti-Israel policy is an anti-Texas policy. Governor Greg Abbott signed House Bill 89 into law on Tuesday, prohibiting all state contracts and investments with companies that boycott Israel. You can always count on Texas. That bill sailed through the legislature without much opposition, but there's still quite a few more left that have a long way to go. Uh, as of right now, there have been about 9,500 total pieces of legislation introduced, and that that includes memorial resolutions, et cetera, things like this. Jim Henson with the Texas Politics Project says only about 20% of those will actually pass. Right now, we're entering the period of maximum anxiety for people inside the process. And if lawmakers are unable to get the job done, Governor Abbott could call for a special session. That would give lawmakers another 30 days to keep pushing bills out of the chambers and onto the governor's desk. Anna Warnicke, KXAN News. The only thing lawmakers have to pass is a state budget, and right now the House and Senate budget bills are in conference. If a budget is not decided by the end of May, there will be a mandatory special session. Last legislative session, there were 6,200 bills filed in the House and Senate. Only 1,300 of those bills actually passed. And Jim's